Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty here with Spirit of Revenge, Cursed Castle. Tell me your name, mortal. I hope you all appreciate that because I had to find and delete my save data to trigger that. When I say save data, I mean that I usually open up these games first and like turn the volume down. promising looking beginning. Graphics are a little blurry, but what are you gonna do? So, uh, I actually played Spirit of Revenge, A Test of Fire, first, because I didn't know this was a series until I read the journal in that game. Um, that was still a blind playthrough and I was recording it. And we will be uploading that. This might be uploaded first, though. I don't like the looks of this, Inspector. It's our duty to check on the Flatsbury family. Come on. They're dead. Lord Flatsbury, you all right, my lord? If you don't answer, we'll have to break down your door. You can break down that giant door. Inspector, come quickly. <gasps> Wait. What's that noise? A child in the fireplace. She's cursed. <laughs> Miss Gale, it's me, Inspector Bolton. We need your help on a case. You're not far from the site. It's Castle Flatsbury. I'm sure you know it. Are we gonna wreck? Oh no, we just pull up normally. This is unprecedented territory. I'm so glad you are nearby. The inspector's in the van. The lip movements are very out of sync, but you're not blurry anymore. The only one left in the castle was this little girl. Try to talk to her. Task? Would you like to use an interactive tutorial? Yes. Important information will be kept in your journal. Pick up the journal. We get to read it. While traveling in the English countryside, I got word of a new case. Two members of a long-respected noble family have disappeared. When police investigated neighbors' reports about the castle, they couldn't locate the owner. Local legends hinted a family curse, but that's preposterous. One member of the family isn't missing, the youngest Flatsbury, a terrified girl named Jessie. Kind of feels like her name should be more fancy. Ah, we've triggered a cutscene. Well, it was an interesting feature, I guess. Who knows? Nothing tasks. Talk to Jessie. The arrow means that you can move to another location. A weird looking arrow. I was relieved to know you were in England, Miss Gale. This is Jessie Flatsbury, the Lord's youngest child. She's our only witness. She's chilled to the bone, but all we have to offer her is hot water. Wow, very underprepared. <laughs> Although, what do you mean youngest? You only said that the, the parents were missing. You wouldn't happen to have some cocoa in your car, would you, Miss Gale? That might break the ice, so to speak. And here, it's our report on Castle Flatsbury. This is a big car. Very fancy inside. The hand means that you can interact with an object. Pick up the object. Wow. What year is this? We were called to the castle to investigate neighbors' reports of fire and strange noises. Usually quite active, no one has seen any of sign of the Flatsberries in some time. Background on the castle, built in the 13th century. A struck record includes references to other strange vanishings. A magnifying glass means you can zoom in to observe an item or gather useful information about it. Select here. Here's the hot water. I can add some cocoa to this. The gear means you can use certain items on an object to interact with it. Some cocoa might warm her up and soothe her. 
Use hint when you get stuck. Select to continue. So Coco might warm her up and soothe her. Perhaps you can look in your car. I'm still not sure why these people were surprised I'd be in England. You can find useful items in sparkling areas. Select the sparkles. Oh, look at this mess. What a mess. I should have straightened up after my last case. Well, at least she's aware. Are we the same lady in the first one? <laughs> or the, the first one I played? I don't actually remember. You can interact with objects in hidden object scenes. When you see that hand, push the hat aside. Find all of the silhouetted items and use them on objects. Grab the cross. Use the cross to open the first aid kit. I feel like we've been in a lot of hidden object games. I'm not super crazy about these, uh, silhouette ones. Okay, I guess we can't do anything there. I remember putting my spectacles here. I was testing a client with Warshack ink blots, but forgot one of the images in my car. What did we do? Okay. Where's my other sticky note? One of the tools is missing. I need to find a battery. Oh, I made a picture on this box. Where did I put those missing tiles? One of the photos is missing. The problem messy this is I don't see much of anything. Did we need a screwdriver for something? Well, this is probably for this. There's lipstick everywhere. Oh, there's where the screwdriver goes. No, oh, no, it's almost in a tile. Got the battery and the camera. I don't want to yank the photo, it'll tear. I need to switch the camera on. Such a cute picture. How handy. It's the combination for the box. Secret box children educational game. Does that really exist? I meant to give this music box to my niece. Now it's broken. Wow. I like the colors. an item. Coco. Not sure why we put it in there, but whatever. That place sure looks ominous. The kind of castle that comes with vampires. That worked one time back home. Take the item from the inventory and drag it to the selected area. I didn't even open it. There, now that's perfect. I don't want Jesse to spill it. I better put the lid on. Is she five? I'm Brenda. And you're Jesse, right? Here, this should warm you up. Can you tell me what happened? I lost my mom's locket. Can you find it for me? It's my favorite thing in the world. We miss you, mummy. There was also a missing locket and a teddy bear in the last game I played. Which was paranormal. We're counting on you to get the girl to tell us what she knows. She's the only witness. She wants a locket. Won't you look for her locket? It's all she has left to remember her late mother. Search the castle. Wait, the mom is dead? I thought the parents were missing. I sued Jessie with a mug of cocoa and she confided that she lost her deceased mother's locket. Clearly she needs it to feel safe. It's very foggy when I was talking to her. Oh. While I approach all cases with a healthy application of skepticism, I also keep an open mind, and this place unsettles me. Is that an Asian boy? Let's see. Oh, so it says two members of the family. I guess it's supposed to be the dad and the brother? Take a look at this. 
The backstory on the Flatsburys might help your case. Whoa. According to this, the family had a bizarre accident the very day they moved in here. A hound appeared from out of nowhere and forced the Lord's car off the road. And there's more. Our newspapers are alive. Local legends say many family members have vanished before through the generations. Yeah, I was reading that. Be careful, ma'am. It could be dangerous in there. Here's a flashlight. You'll need it. I didn't find it. He gave it to us. He vanished. Ghost policeman. Okay, good. I'm going to USB drive. I'm not sure why this is here, but I want it. Make sure this is the new page. A mysterious accident plagued the Flatsbury family on their return to the family's namesake castle, unoccupied for years. Lord Flatbury, Flatsbury says a hound appeared from out of nowhere, blocking the way and forcing his car off the road. Locals cite legends of the castle's curse, taking this as a sign the Flatberries are not welcome. But there are Lord, but the Lord's debts make relocating elsewhere unlikely. You're in debt and you buy a castle? Maybe you inherited it, but still. Gotta imagine paying for a castle is expensive. I'm not sure what to make of this article. Coincidence or dire omen? It's nice to know we took pictures of the of the newspaper as it was playing. Also, the boy is not in this. Did the wife die in this accident? There was no mention of a dog in the description for this game. Yeah, because if I didn't know any better, I'd think that was- I was in Baskerville. I was thinking that, too. I think I just met the same brood of a dog that forced the family's car off the road. And was that fire I saw in the castle window? What's this? Oops. I need something thin to pick the lock. Hidden object game protagonists. Always master lock pickers. What is this? During the game, you'll find picture pieces that will be stored in your gallery. Once you find all the pieces to a painting, you can restore it. What is this? She was one of the first in the family line to live in the castle. Fifteen, two, seven. Seems like she died pretty young. Like... Seven. Twenty-one. We got a storeroom key. What secrets do the castle walls keep? I'm not sure where I should be looking for these painting pieces. She died so young, when she was only 17. What happened? 17? I thought it said 21. I don't know. I could swear it said 21. But I also want to know what happened. Maybe that's the girl from the intro. Well, we can't go in here, but let's look around. This one's got a mouthful and a divot in his head. There's some kind of pattern here, but I can't see it very well. I need light. Hmm, I better find out what sequence opens this door. What's this? Very colorful. I bet there's something behind here, but I'll have to find the sun figure to open it. I'm not sure I'd want to live in this place. The screams haunted. That's probably the storm. Oh! Leak cutscene trigger. Things are not always as they seem. Another pretty ghost girl. Things are not what they seem. I'll say she seemed like a ghost. I've seen a ghost. Called Swampcast or blame it on the fog, but I know what I saw. A ghostly woman, and she spoke to me. Just rammed a giant rose in our diary. Aw, oh, for bird. Hang on, birdie, I'll save you. As soon as I find an item that will allow me to do that. There's something behind these roses. I'll need to trim them back. One, two, one, three, construction day. Colored towel. It looks like it's a girl. What 
didn't I see a key? I guess that's the key for this. If there's anything else we can examine. I'm gonna go to the strategy guide and try to figure out like what's up with these paintings so I know what to look for. Can I do that now? Okay, so we'll just assume nothing until we get inside the house. Did it tell us that we need to mess with stuff? The matches are on fire! An empty cup is worse than a half empty one. Mushroom. What a beautiful flower. Is that the flower we have to cut? Couldn't we use those pliers? Particularly. Yeah, because this place is either haunted or I'm in a part of an elaborate hoax. That was a bit weird. You did not just growl at me, did you? These hidden object scenes are alive. Well, this one's gold, but I could paint it. I'm not sure what we needed to do that. Bottle of wine. A freshly cut rose. Just need something to cut with. Wait. Gloves. I miss those. Gloves, gloves, there they are. We found pliers. Are we gonna use these pliers to cut this? Maybe that only worked in medieval times. Well, I'm glad, because I'm pretty sure that's not what pliers are for. Well, maybe we can help you. Counting on you to save me later, bird. Stone flower. Oh, is something else in here? Oh, we got a wire. Maybe we can pick that lock. Oh goodness, what's going on here? Oh gosh. Hold and drag the wire tip to lift the tumblers correctly, moving from left to right. Not entirely sure how this works. I don't know what I'm doing. This one doesn't have a mark. Is that fire? Who's walking out there? I don't know, but they're apparently a flame. So I think we saw a painting thing here. Some zooms may have puzzle pieces. Collect them all and gain access to bonus play. Oh, I guess that was part of the painting. We found a knight. Oh, I wanted to read those! Found an arm. Like a painter's canvas, this empty field is transformed. Here rises my greatest masterpiece, Castle Flatsbury. In just a few days, the final stone will be set, but success is hollow without Lady Agnes by my side. Lady Agnes, her eyes are the most wonderful thing I've ever seen in my life. Alas, even my thoughts betray me. Isaac, Master Mason. Like should be capitalized. Lady should be capitalized. It's bothering me. So this Master Mason was in love with Lady Agnes. He would not have been nobility, and therefore a union would not have been allowed. We have that. The other stone flower is missing. Not anymore. Let's check 
authorize this place. There are a few tiles missing. We have one of them. Garden shears. We'll probably do that rose. But let's check this out first. Gosh. Wow, we're actually using items we collected in a hidden object scene. This is crazy. Ouch, thorns. Mushrooms are still fresh. Some must have gathered them not long ago. Be with your brethren. Looks like the base of an Egyptian figurine. Okay. It's used for grinding coffee. Do we have it. When did we get coffee beans? These ghosts are being surprisingly helpful. A dirty tray. Dry rag won't cut through the grease. I need to find all the numbers. We have removed wine, water, glass lampshade, and keys. The glass shade is missing. We got that one. A nice place to keep keys. An empty wine glass. Oh no. Now we just need to find out where to put this freaking cup. I guess it's a saucer or from the tea set. Find the code and open the safe. Six, five, eight, three? Flatsbury deaths. Agnes fell to her death. Catherine took her own life. Francis, the castle's first owner, he and his three wives all died under mysterious circumstances. Robert, lost in the swamps. Neighbors report him being chased by a hound. Mary died in a fire. Eugene fell to his death. Laura vanished after her husband. Eugene's death. Stuart drowned. Elizabeth succumbed to fever. Well, that's ominous. found an old note in the gardener's house. I'm surprised it survived the centuries. It appears to be written by the genius who built Castle Flatsbury. He writes bitterly about parting with Lady Agnes. Perhaps this is the nature of her spirit's discontent? We're just assuming that's her ghost. It's as if the castle were a living, breathing entity, one that kills the very inhabitants it's meant to shelter. So one thing I'll say is that I like how this game is visually. Like, there's a lot of like little touches I like. Which is something I said about uh, A Test of Fire as well. Like, the game was not perfect. I thought it was too short. But... Definitely just looked really quality. Like, it had a really great interface to it. Build the castle to match the one shown. Press the arrows to see more choices. Press the back button to reset. Exact match, but I would assume this is right. No, no, this one. Mm. I don't say that's right. 
No, we need columns. These roofs all look the same. Right in one window. And then... There we go. We found a tin figurine. And a very weird door code. I know exactly where to use this. This is the sequence I need. You say that, but I'm not entirely convinced. You'd have to pay me to live in a place like this. Rotate the discs horizontally to align the symbols shown above. I don't know that we needed the... This flashlight thing to do this. Flat sign looking thing. The square with a dot. Got this little weird wonky looking H. Is that it? No, it is not it. I think that's right. Kinda right. And then this, whatever the frick that is. Oh, no, we're missing one. This is this. And then the H. Oh, yeah, I'm met, but doesn't match up. First symbol has got to be this. Okay, that's right. That's right. We do it. Okay, good. That's a bit worried we don't have to skip that one. I don't think Lord Flasbury put up that lock. People live in castles. There's that burning figure again. I can't see anything, it's too dark. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a repeat mechanic with the flashlight. Apparently no, the flashlight's gone. I can't see anything. There we go. You know, that's not a great place to put a light switch. Got a train. Hey, little piece. I've seen this article before. I guess the Lord is a skeptic. I guess Lord Flatsbury didn't put any stock on the curse. Well, you're gonna be putting stock in it after tonight. I saw that little magnifying list and pop up. I don't know the code. Everything's hiding in fireplaces. Got a feather duster. I need to look inside this drawer. Can we not interact with that thing? See, I saw the carpet sparkling. Any more of them puzzle pieces hidden around? to look for the missing parts. Let's try this room. Revenge shall be taken. Oh, that's some parlor trick. First a ghost and now this. They don't pay me enough. A nice little picture. I love her outfit. Looks like a sailor outfit, but it's pink. This must be their mother. Poor kids growing up without her.
there's a supernatural force at work. Its motivation is clearly revenge. I don't know how you figured that out. A flower would look lovely here. The lever is missing. A locomotive will make the railroad cars move. We got that. Now to turn it on. I guess it just all counts for that. Pull, to pull tin figure. What is this? Feather duster. This is Jesse's album, but it's missing some pictures. I hope I can find the rest. Jesse seemed to be trying to communicate something with these images. Some sheets are torn. I could find them and ask the inspector about this. This laptop feels really out of place. Hey, I think that's a character from a video game I like. Another of Jesse's drawings. Perhaps there are more of these. Well, it says two out of five, so... It's pointless to try to guess the password. It could be anything. I can't get out. I'm trapped. Puzzle piece. Oh, look at the cute little doll and the cute little doll dress. The little pink tree thing. I don't know how to put this there. Fix the lamp using the pieces strewn about the cabinet. I want this lamp. This lamp is so cute. I don't know. We need a, a thing. This is. Except this blue part, blue part doesn't really work. <laughs> no, the doll! I always thought dolls were creepy and now I have confirmation. The opinions of the protagonist are not the opinions of this channel. Oh, this is so cute. I'm just randomly clicking again. That ends up feeling more productive. It's locked. The three crescents are missing. I'm missing a wing. Where is that darn wing? missing a crescent. Oh, there it is. Where'd that come from? Not a cookie. I found a liver. A book! I'm going to tell myself that was the wind. A bit late to start doubting the supernatural aspect. Noble maid, lovely and fair, fell headlong into a pit of despair. Children's a books noble days. maid, lovely and fair, fell headlong into a pit of despair. The night her father killed her only love. Oh, he a faithful heart, but common blood. That's a tragic story, and not fit for a girl to read at all. And have you read most fairy tales? They're very dark. Go train, go! I don't believe that little- that, that train would move on that little wooden track. That was a piece. Yes. A noble made lovely and fair. Yeah, we got that already. No notes. So that's probably Agnes and uh, the dude she liked. The mason dude. A pink wand. 
What is happening here? I have to find a brush to paint. Oh, we're gonna do some painting. Glue would help the scales and eyes stick. Oh, accidentally exited out. He's lost some scales. What is that? Toy foam. There's the brush I want to paint. There it is. This easy in real life. I'm not sure what the frick those things are supposed to be. Lightning bolt. Can we use the paint to just draw a lightning bolt? It's a lightning bolt and a crocodile. Oh, a little bunny. I have this bunny! Or at least a similar one. This is a real bunny that exists. You can buy it off AliExpress. That's pretty wild. I wonder if whoever made that game this game has one of them bunnies. Oh my gosh, where are these crocodile scales? Okay, here's one. Wait, there's the other one. Where are the rest of your scales, buddy? Wait, there's his eye. He wasn't missing a scale, he was missing an eye. Where's the lightning bolt? We found the coat of arms still, but I don't know where that goes. Stairs? No, wait. That was like a completely different area for a minute there. And I guess it's one of those ones where we have to do it bit by bit. to go over here. That little rake thing. That's gonna come in handy later. What the frick? That was alarming. Yikes, this castle's seen better days. There's no way to get upstairs. I'll need something long to reach that. Wait, yeah. Wait, let me grab this. 
flying dogs. Here's another drawing of Jessie's. She seems to be expressing her pain through them. Having nightmares of flying dogs. How did her drawings get in the house? One of the male puppet's arms seems to be missing. Repeat three sets of the puppet's positions as shown below. At least it tells me what I'm right. doing wrong with him. In the 13th century, a mason named Isaac volunteered to build Lord Flatsbury's castle. What the Lord didn't know was that the mason's intent was to get close to the Lord's beautiful daughter. The Lord was furious. He could not allow his daughter to marry a commoner. Found a gargoyle ruby. Puzzle piece. Jane Eldon was hired as Jessie's nanny. Her laptop is meant to help Jessie prepare for school. Oh, there's the code. The laptop's password. The password was hidden pretty well, but nothing can foil me. Oh, that's a whole other area. to save with that little puppet show thingy. Are they actually gonna make us look it up? 11609. I'm really worried about Jesse. 
She has such an imagination. Still talking about some fiery knight who lives in the castle. It's keeping her up at night, these nightmares she's having. She says things catch fire for no reason, and she's seen statues fly. I don't know what's got into that girl. I think I saw someone's reflection. I recognize these symbols. I don't. I've already forgotten what these are for. I saw gemstones on the notebook screen, marked with numbers from 1 to 5. It might be a code. Good. Remind me what it's a code for. I don't remember. Well, I'm gonna go put this on the gargoyle's head. Where these night people go? the box. I do like it when they tell you where the where you need to go. Cause like some of these games will do the thing where you use your hint and it just goes to like the arrow button is like you need to go down and we'll just keep doing that. Pink, yellow, blue, red, green. cabinet key. Oh, and, uh, what is this? Guess I'll need some material to fill the mold. I gotta make the last night? Yeah, a puzzle piece. Put the portraits of the Flatsberries in their correct spots on the family tree. If the portrait is in the right place, it will remain. Charles, Matthew, Thomas, Agnes. Pretty sure Agnes was not the first. <laughs> Catherine, Francis, Robert. the girl out of the family tree. Odd. Oh, let's mark the differences. I found the family history in a book, as traditionally favored by nobility. What does this mean for Lady Agnes? She was too pretty, so someone hates her. Let's mark the differences. There's a ring. Hair. Mustache. mirrored that threw me for a loop. I don't like this suit. Makes you feel like I'm missing something. One difference left. And I can't use a hint. Lord Flatsbury, a wealthy landlord and an honorable sir, married to Lady Catherine Flatsbury. Their female child, born in wedlock, was named Agnes. In his mature years, what story was hidden under the ink blot? And why would... Why would what? Why would someone want to hide it? It's very pretty. reason why I realized that Testifier was not the first game was that the journal mentioned a bunch of previous cases. I think it might actually spoil some of this, but I don't remember what. The county's bell, support and hope of Lord Flatsbury. She died young. Think black. You disgraced me! Disgraced? I believe the heart of all cats so Flatsbury's secret lies in centuries past. Must be the dad. 
Is the dad the fireman? Why did she die young? What secret stands behind her death and why is it concealed from me? And what does the phrase you disgrace me mean? Who was disgraced? How many secrets is the Flatsbury family hiding? I mean, call me crazy, but it sounds like she fell in love with a commoner. Morphing objects. Dad had commoner killed, and then she committed suicide by jumping to her death, bringing shame upon the family. That's how it seems to me. The frick is this room? Mirror's too dusty. You'll find something to clean it up. A fiery night! Puzzle piece! <laughs> Who's this dude? There's indentations for four nights. Do we have them? Oh no, we're still missing one. We had two frame pieces. I don't remember where these frame pieces go though. to melt the metal. This is terrible. That was such a pretty figure. We're just killing it. Now, realistically, we would not be able to touch that. Got an item. Flower key. I thought that would be a puzzle. Flower key. I'm not there. I'm here. Probably should end this part soon. Lord Flatsbury with his children. This must be after their mother's death. We got the last puzzle piece. In the assembled gallery, you can assemble pictures to restore the main canvas that will help you gain access to bonus play. bizarre shapes like this. Where does this piece go? I don't think we can rotate them. Oh, that one up there. from the intro? I think it might be. Definitely seems like that's the girl there. Oh, 
got all the picture pieces. Oh. What are those? Since the day I lost my daughter, this gallery is the only place where I can still find peace. Someday I shall find the strength to finish the main canvas. If Agnes were not so beautiful in this picture, I would have burnt it long ago. I cannot watch her standing on the balcony of that damn tower. Agnes, my dear. Agnes, who knew... Who knew what? I have to take it. So I think we're supposed to take these to Agnes. But we will leave the- oh, never mind. Haunted statue. And this family's curse. Can you give me some more information? I was right. The ghost is Lady Agnes. I do believe I've seen a ghost. She's the manifestation of Lady Agnes of the Flatsbury line. According to her grave marker, she was just 17 when she passed. She's the one the Mason mentioned. What would mollify her? What does mollify mean? So we will be ending this part here. Um, I'm liking it so far. I, I hope it continues to be good, because I was a little disappointed with Spirit of Revenge Test of Fire in the end. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!